Okay, here we go, the last one. I usually get a little more sad because I know after this game, it'll be another 271 days until kickoff 2015. So, But anyway, looking forward to Stevenson against Homewood Flossmore. Again, a rematch of week one. Unfortunately, a game that I didn't get to see. I was there for the... For the Saturday, but of course, lightning delays, never played it, played again Saturday, didn't get a chance. But again, um, not a huge shocker. I mean, two teams that have definitely been at the best of their game the last handful of years. Had a feeling, kind of kept saying that HF would have a chance to win a state title over the next few years, and voila, here we go. So, Holman Flossmore, I think the key in this ball game really for the Vikings is you have to be able to establish that running game with the Harley Hampton twins. Um, Bryce Gray, I think, is is really developed well coming into his own. But again, if you're HF, the passing game is set up by the run game. And you have to be able to run the ball against Stevenson. Easier said than done. I think uh, the Patriots' defensive line in particular is very good this year. Um, so if you're HF, offensively, you want to establish the run. And then defensively, can you limit... Stevenson's big playability on offense, meaning Stevenson can run the ball when they need to. They can do the short to intermediate stuff. They can also, Willie Bourbon throws a very good long ball and has capable receivers, uh, Cameron Green, Sorensen. So there's a lot, a lot that you have to defend against Stevenson, and it's a lot to ask. And, oh, by the way, Willie Bourbon also a very, very solid scrambler out of the pocket when he needs to. So... A lot to defend if you're HF, so you really, really have to be able to ball control and, and keep that football away from the Patriots. Now, if you're Stevenson, as I mentioned, it, you take the flip side. You've got to be able to really control the run against Homewood Flossmore. You want the Vikings to get in those third and long passing situations, and, and that's something I don't think the Vikings really want to do. And again, HF is very hard to scheme because Buzz will throw... A lot of different looks, a lot of different formations, a lot of different personnel packages at you. They really, HF and Craig Bazia really gives you a lot to defend. I mean, he really gives you a lot of looks that you have to be ready for. So Stevenson and, and Bill McNamara, they've had their hands full trying to make sure their defense is in place for certain things that they're going to see. And I guarantee you, HF will roll out a few more things that no one has seen this year. So taking that into account, um, you know, Stevenson, again, as I mentioned, your offense has just been so good all year. Granted, haven't put up a ton of points the last few weeks, but you look at the situations they were in. Played against great defenses, number one, number two. I mean, look at the field conditions last week. I mean, people can say Dushan wasn't a big factor. I just saw kids slipping and sliding everywhere. That won't be a factor this week. When it's all said and done, again, I, I think we're going to get a tremendous 8A game, much like last year's I thought was a tremendous 8A game. When it's all said and done, I'm going to go with my number one team, and they've been number one for a while in Stevenson. But again, this time of year, both quality teams, nothing would surprise me. I see the difference here maybe being a turnover or two, a special teams player or two, can really turn the tide. And when it's all said and done, I think Stevenson finally gets that elusive state title. So there you go, my 8-8 thoughts, and see ya. Bye.